Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. We're here in Isle Morada, the undisputed sport fishing capital of the world. I'm here with Captain Steve Doherty, editor of Florida Sport Fishing Magazine. And while there's so many great fisheries to take advantage of down here, we're gonna go shark fishing on the flats. A really, really exciting fishery. Anybody can get in on this, and our goal here today is to show you exactly how to take advantage of this exciting fishery. Stick around, let's see if we can find some sharks. You're watching Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Another one on, another one on! Oh. Absolutely awesome experience. We've got a perfectly rigged lure. We're going fishing. So we're getting out of here, Steve. We're coming out of this shallow cut. We're gonna go fish a couple of flats. Looks like we've got some outgoing tide, which is exactly what we want. You need that moving water. You know, as you know, you've gotta get that current flowing. You've gotta get that water moving. Get and that you know, chum out yeah, there. Yeah, get that chum out there that's scent in the water. And you know, while bone fishing, permit, tarpon, certainly exciting, shark fishing is really, really exciting too. And I'll tell you, when you're out here in just two, three feet of water, and you're catching sharks that are five, six, seven, ten feet long. It just brings a whole new perspective to flats fishing. Yeah, We've really got, cool. Yeah, very, very cool. We've got a beautiful day fishing some light tackle, some 20 pound outfits. We're fishing circle hooks, right? We are, you know, all of this, this whole shark fishery is, you know, strictly a catch and release fishery. So circle hooks are crucial, no question about that. And it's really easy, you know, anybody can do this. It's not complicated. It's not like bone fishing or permit fishing that requires, you know, really a high level of skill and years of experience. Years of experience. You know, this, anybody can trailer their boat down here. And as long as they know what to look for, and we're gonna cover all of that today, they can get in on this. And like I said, I mean, catching a big shark on the flats is certainly an exciting experience. You know, it's different than fishing open water with big tackle. This is all sight fishing. You see exactly what's going on. So it's a whole new perspective to flats fishing. Let's get out there and see go. what we can catch. All right, so we're just getting set up here. Found a nice flat. We're in about four feet of water. We've got a little bit of outgoing tide here. The wind is right in our face. There's a couple of channels that border us here, which are really just avenues for these sharks to travel through all of these flats. They use these channels. But don't think for one second that you need to really be in deep water. On the contrary, remember, this is flats fishing, okay? And even though you're targeting sharks that, you know, upwards of 10 feet and a few hundred pounds, you really only need to be in a few feet of water. They're up here on these flats feeding on lobster, rays and skates and stingrays and fish and even other sharks. You know, sharks eat sharks. So this looks really promising. We're gonna get set up here. We're gonna anchor. Okay, which is really important. You don't want to drift, okay? Because we're going to put out some chum. We're going to put out uh, so some racks from some bonita and some snapper, and we want to be stationary. So it's really important that you anchor. And don't get yourself into any trouble. You know, don't get up on any flats that are only a few inches of water where you could, you know, ultimately end up high and dry. So keep it safe, and you'll catch them. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our our inviting chum going, okay? And what we've got is a really, really, really nice stringer full of racks. We've got some bonita, we've got some snapper. Look at that. Ugh. Let's get that in the water right away. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna score some of these bonita. We're gonna cut the bonita, get some of that scent in, in the water. So we're just gonna pull this up here for a second. Okay. And we're gonna score some of these, just like that. Just nice cuts, nothing fancy. Cut it everywhere. There we go. 
shake it up a little bit. So as far as bait is concerned, you can pretty much use anything, mullet, Spanish mackerel, king mackerel, really anything oily with a, with a good, good odor. You want to get that scent in the water. Nothing beats Bonita. Absolutely perfect, perfect shark bait. So I like to cut some pieces right out of the side, some nice slabs. You know, don't be shy. These are sharks. They eat. Nice juicy piece like that. So we'll cut a couple of slabs off. And every now and then, I like to grab that stringer, just give it a couple good shakes. Now remember, a lot of this shark fishing on the flats is sight fishing. You're actually looking. You're keeping a sharp eye out. The sun's a little low right now. We're certainly going to have a little bit of an easier time to see what's happening around us once that sun climbs higher in the sky. But we've got some decent visibility. And while we're waiting, we're gonna throw out a couple of baits because sometimes you won't see these fish, you know? They could be 20, 30 feet away from the boat and you actually won't even see that shark. So we're gonna throw a couple baits out, give this a while, let this scent in the water disperse, let the current, you know, get this scent out there and see what happens here. Stick around, we'll be right back. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Bionic Bait. Fish prefer Bionic Bait. Baruno, trusted by professionals in every ocean. Ghost, boat tracking, security, monitoring, and surveillance you can count on. Boat Insurance Florida, save up to 50% on boat insurance. Marine Survival Technologies, make safe boating your number one priority. Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, your number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques. For inshore and off. Only $30 for three years. For immediate home delivery, log on to floridasportfishing.com. Enter promo code TV and receive a free shirt with paid subscription. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another oh! one on. Three on, baby. <laughs> with Chaos Fishing, it's your rod, your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing Gear Matters. 100, 500, 1,000. How much money are you wasting on melted ice and thawed bait? Frigid Rigid keeps ice and bait frozen for 10 days. Built to withstand everyday use, 25 sizes up to 525 quarts means there's a Frigid Rigid cooler, refrigerator, or tackle center just for you. The boat may have burnt down, but the ice and chum stayed frozen. Frigid Rigid, 800-643-1988 or visit FrigidRigid.com for a dealer near you. The Fish Vector underwater lighting system with our patent pending sound technology will get you out of the heat and bring the fish right to you. Big, bright, 400 and 1,000 watt units will allow you to fish comfortably at night and really see the fish. Both the dock and portable units plug into a 110 receptacle and take just minutes to set up. Great for waterscaping, guaranteed to work on fish. Get out of the heat and into comfortable fishing with the Fish Vector underwater light system. When the bite's on, the last thing you want is contaminated fuel. Ethanol creates sludge, damages fuel systems, and starves engines. Protect any gasoline or diesel engine with Formula X2. Independent testing proves Formula X2 eliminates water, cleans, and lubricates. See it for yourself. For only pennies per gallon, Formula X2 provides complete protection and maximum performance for any engine. Order now at FormulaX2.com. So one of the keys to the shark fishing on the flats, of course, like with just about every other fishery is location. You know, we've got set up here, there's a big cove. This is almost like a big horseshoe cove. There's a big flat that just goes for miles right along these little islands, these little outcroppings here. And then it drops off right into Florida Bay there, it drops off to about 10 feet of water. So as we've got this outgoing tide, it's sweeping our scent right across this shallow flat here and also right over the edge. I'm gonna hook it right in the corner so it gives them a nice nice big chunk to grab. You want that hook exposed in order to get that corner hook set right in, in the lip. You're in, dude. Don't wanna set the hook with a circle, just apply pressure to an angle. 
Perfect, perfect. It might be a little bonnet I head. think so. I saw him racing at the last second. Did you? If it is a bonnet head, they're so cool looking, like a, just a mini great or mini uh, hammerhead. Yep. I'm gonna grab my gloves. Yep, little bonnet head. Is it? Nice. Yep. That's a good start. He's not done yet. Oh no. You know, right as I reset that bait, that's when that bite came, that little action on the surface. Oh yeah, look at him, dude. He's cool. I think he might be ready for you. Just one of the many different species, you know, you can catch out. This is probably the smallest, you know, I should say definitely the smallest species of shark you're gonna catch on the flats is a bonnet head. That's an adult right there. And as you can see, probably only grows to about three feet, but aggressive, you know, really aggressive. Good fight too. Come on there, big fella. Tough guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got that one? Yeah, you want to switch off? I got gloves. I'll take care of him if you yeah. want to grab that one. Member of the hammerhead shark family, as you can see, he's got those really cool eyes right on the sides. What do you got there? Another, Another bonnet head? head? Yep. And that circle hook, again, did its job perfectly, right in the corner of the mouth. Look at that. Absolutely could not have done any better. And look at them teeth on that guy. Got it. Okay, we're gonna let this guy go. First shark of the day, took about 15 mi minutes, and he's out of here. And we got another one on. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger. Definitely full grown though. There we go. Another bonnet head. Look at that, just a thing just cruises the flats. Looking around, searching around, sniffing out. Circle hook again, perfect. Right in the corner of the mouth. There we go. See ya, buddy. See ya. <laughs> Right, good nice. start. Get yourself some of that right there, baby. The secret's out. Start with brine and bite. The only brine that infuses proven bite stimulants into any rigged bait. Procure badass bait dyes are next. And bring ballyhoo to life with vibrant fluorescent colors. Seal the deal with Procure's new bloody tuna oil and watch your catch ratio soar. Inshore and offshore, Procure bait scents and badass bait dyes keep you hooked up. Find Procure at your favorite dealer or call 800 Procure for a free catalog. Tired of outrageous markups? Stingray Fishing Outfitters beats all advertised prices with specials on the finest tournament winning tackle, accessories, and outdoor apparel. Operated by knowledgeable anglers with everything you need for freshwater and saltwater fishing under one roof, ready for immediate delivery. Save big. Shop where the pros shop. Shop at StingrayTackle.com. Yachtlights.com, everything marine lighting, interior and exterior. Yachtlights.com has it all at the lowest prices. Stylish recessed lights, LED strips, floodlights and deck lights, and the hottest underwater lights from as low as $199. Shop online for free shipping and weekly clearance items or visit our new showroom. When you need marine lighting, you need Yachtlights.com. Frustrated fish ballyhoo cap gun trolling move. That's money. Tournament winning. That is money. Oh, look at him taking it. Jets, bullets, feathers, chuggers. The most effective high speed wahoo lures on earth. Handcrafted in the U.S. and sold professionally rigged. Not sure what to pull? Call for expert advice. Whoa, oh, another one on, another one on. I troll ballyhoo lures because they work. Welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing. We're on the flats down here in Isle Morata shark fishing. Got another one on here. Got a 
circle hook at him. Hey there, big fella. Conservation Corner brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key Largo. A world away, come as you are. Along with assorted sharks, fearsome barracuda are often present on the flats and make exciting targets on any class tackle. These intimidating fish actually thrive in the shallows where nutrient-rich forage is readily available. Propelled by muscular broad tails, barracuda are voracious opportunistic predators relying on surprise and short bursts of speed. Thanks to razor-sharp fangs and powerful jaws, barracuda kill and consume large prey by tearing chunks of flesh. With very little food value and often implicated for incidents of food poisoning, barracuda are typically released unharmed and are generally considered an exciting game fish capable of screaming runs and spectacular leaps. They are, however, often harvested for bait purposes. Regardless, barracuda are eating machines and they have the bulk to prove it, measuring up to six feet long and weighing as much as 100 pounds. Big Cuda on the flats, baby. Whoa. That is not where you want to get your hands stuck right in there. That's for sure. Conservation Corner brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key Largo. A world away, come as you are. Fishing in just a couple of feet of water, picking away at some bonnet heads. I got your line, Steve. Some little three, four foot bonnet head sharks. One of the many species you'll encounter on the flats down here. Typically the smallest shark that you'll find in the Keys are these bonnet heads. All right. Look at that circle hook again, right in the corner of the mouth. Absolutely perfect. Anybody that's not already fishing with those circle hooks is missing the boat, my friends. Missing the boat. They work. They take a lot of the guesswork out of fishing. And when it comes to anything that you intend on releasing, there's no better way to go. Absolutely no harm to the fish whatsoever. We're gonna wedge that hook right out of there. If that was a J hook, we could have got one of his vital organs. You got him? Yep. All right, there we go. And that's a bonnet head. Look at them teeth looking down the throat of death. Darkness, darkness and death. That's the only thing that you'll find down that canal right there, is darkness and death. All right, there he goes. Nice healthy release, see you later, fella. Look at him, look at him just blend right in, look at that, gone. If you can hear this transmission, you are part of the resistance and you are not alone. We are outnumbered, but not outsmarted. We are taking Florida back in the streets, in the air, in the water, and we have infiltrated the airwaves. We know you're tired and looking for a better taste, so you must join the fight. We have the answer. It's in your DNA. DNA energy drink. We are the revolution. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another one on. Oh, Three on, baby. <laughs> With chaos fishing, it's your rod, your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing Gear Matters. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Fishing Pursuits. Visit fishingpursuits.com and go fish the planet. Unique species, release mounts for every trophy catch. Liquid Light, see what you've been missing. EC Rider, marine gray bean bags built for fishermen. Rodan, precision GPS guided trolling motors. Rigging Station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. On this week's Rigging Station, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about circle hooks. 
Circle hooks have really gained popularity with recreational anglers in the last five to 10 years. However, commercial fishermen have been utilizing circle hooks for decades, and they've really been around for centuries. It's a really effective design for hooking fish right in the corner of the mouth. There's a couple of key characteristics that you need to look for when purchasing circle hooks. Number one is size. Circle hooks are available in everything from a 1-0, which is ideally suited for a fragile live shrimp or a small white bait, all the way on up to big game hooks in the 14-0 to 16-0 size. So make sure you select the right size hook, not only for the bait that you intend to use, but also for the fish that you intend to catch with that hook. You can purchase circle hooks with a straight eye, which is ideal if you intend to tie a small loop knot or an improved clinch knot, or with a bent eye, and that's better suited for snelling your hook right onto your leader. In addition is the offset. I'm sure you've heard the term inline circle hooks, and what that means is the actual hook is straight. The barb is not offset from the shank at all. It's perfectly in line. That's a tournament approved hook. It is perfectly suited for hooking fish right in the corner of the mouth and for avoiding getting that hook in any vital organs or harming that fish in any way. If that design is just off by a couple of degrees, if it's just bent just a little bit and it's not a perfectly inline circle hook, you still risk that chance of harming the fish. Still a really effective hook for a wide variety of species, but not tournament approved and not the best hook if you intend to release your game fish. Along with that bend is also the point of the hook. This really, it really plays a big role in how effective a circle hook is. You want that hook to be at a 90 degree or more angle right to the shank. As long as it's at 90 or more degrees, that's the true definition of a circle hook, and it really does a great job of avoiding harming any fish. If that point is just up just a little bit by just a couple of degrees, you can still hook that fish in the throat, in the gut, and you can still fatally wound that fish. Again, a perfect hook for a wide variety of scenarios, but not the best hook if you intend to release that fish. With any size, with any design or style circle hook, there's a couple of things that are universal. And number one, it's that you don't set the hook. Remember that, this is not bass fishing. You're not heaving back really hard and striking and setting the hook. Allow the fish to eat the bait, allow the fish to swim away from the boat, lock up, point the rod tip right at the fish, and as that line comes tight, that hook will pull out and it'll lodge right in the corner of that fish's mouth every time. It's a perfect setup. Once drag starts coming off the reel, slowly lift your rod tip and begin to fight that fish. So it certainly takes a little getting used to, but I can tell you that your hookup ratio will soar with circle hooks. Rigging Station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, the most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. He's got it, he's got it, let him eat it, let him eat it, let him eat it, he's got it. Nice, 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 dude, we're hooked up! We just repositioned here, been fishing this one spot for about 10 minutes. We found exactly what we're looking for. A nice bigger one, looks like possibly, ooh, listen to him screaming, yeah. possibly a lemon, maybe a black tip. Anybody that's ever been shark fishing knows that it's exciting. When you're shark fishing on the flats in three, four feet of water, it's super exciting. It's crazy how shallow it is. It is. so it many really predators is. right here. Yeah. You're never safe. <laughs> Fed out a bait on a balloon, so it was just drifting right up, right above the bottom. And that shark came up and just clobbered it. Look at that. How awesome is that, Amazing. right? In shallow water. Yeah, that thing will eat anything that it wants on the flats. Circling the boat like a big tuna. Yeah. That's what they'll usually do, is just go around the whole boat, and with each circle, they get a little bit more and more tired. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Let's see if we can kind of calm them down a little. Nope. <laughs> that would be a That'd no. That'd be a no. He's not ready yet. This is the most important part. When that fish is next to the boat, if you're out here shark fishing on the flats, by all means, take your time. Don't rush it. Nice fight, huh? And that 20 pound spinner, that's all you need out here on the flats. You know, it's, you're catching nice sized sharks with fairly light tackle, but you need something with a little backbone. You need a little beef.
Dude, he is so strong. They are powerful fish. He is so, you can just feel the power in that tail. It's just incredible. He thinks he's fighting for his life, but we're gonna let him go. Yep. Come on. Come on. Look at them teeth. That is not something that you want to mess around with. You get your hands stuck in there. I mean, you really have to be careful with these fish next to the boat. Constantly keep one eye on the fish because they'll swing around. They'll turn that head so fast. And you just watched another awesome episode of Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Down here in Isle Morata, fishing the flats for sharks with Captain Steve Doherty. Steve, we certainly had a great time. Definitely saw our fair share of action out there. Yeah, we had some great baits. As soon as we put them in the water, the sharks were there. Some nice bonnet heads, uh, black tips, and some lemons we saw too. Yeah, yeah. We did catch those four or five bonnet heads. You had that one nice black tip, maybe 60, 70 pounds. We couldn't get any of them bigger ones to bite, and it seemed like we were fighting the weather all morning as well, dodging those storms. But we managed to put together a decent catch, had a great time. Um, you know, certainly just, just easily within reach of anybody in South Florida, not only fishing the flats on the backside here for sharks, but obviously all of the great opportunities that are available offshore as well. So if you're not already coming down to the Florida Keys, you're missing the boat. We'll see you next week. Florida Sport Fishing. Closed captioning provided by Navimatics. Quality navigation products for your iPad and iPhone. Pelagic Gear official provider of Florida sport fishing apparel, and Tropic Trailer, the largest equipment trailer dealer in Florida. Learn more about the tactics and techniques on today's show, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up. Florida Sport Fishing Magazine. Your number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and off. Only $30 for three years. For immediate home delivery, log on to floridasportfishing.com. Enter promo code TV and receive a free shirt with paid subscription. Thank you for watching Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler.